I'm so so in awe of what this guy does, and I don't even have my, my stuff together. Oh my god! I, I'm, I'm like throwing stuff on because I'm just gonna you know introduce him and get the heck out of the way. Adam Young has been uh, one of the uh, gurus of the baking scene uh, ever since he came on the landscape a few years ago with Sift over in Mystic. Since then, he's opened up two others in Watch Hill, a new yep. one in Niantic. New one in Niantic. He, he's yeah. also, I got it all. Yeah, oh, sorry, hey, sorry. Hey, well, you, you'll get your turn. <laughs> also has Young Buns Donuts. Also has Mix at Sift. We're gonna talk about that and ATY Confections, which is great for Valentine's Day, but we're going to do something that I think is great if you really want to blow the roof off the joint yep. and impress your partner. We're going to do a little creme brulee tart. Good to have you here. Hey, great to be nice. here. Thanks for Always having me back. Always a yeah. pleasure to see you. Pleasure to be here. So, yes, very simple. Believe it or not, mm -hmm. the recipe is on the Fox website. Right. Um, we start off with our vanilla custard, right? Uh-huh. Uh, we're going to take these bourbon vanilla beans. We're going to split them. Look at this. Right. So you can see we harvest the seeds inside. You don't have to scrape the seeds out. We're going to throw the whole pod right in now, there. I've seen people okay? scrape. You can. Well, why you don't know? you want to scrape? Well, in this case, we're going to steep the entire bean and really maximize the potential of the uh, aromatics get, and the get, flavor get that Get all has. the vanilla so, goodness out of that yep, sucker. Bingo. Got so, we're going to give that a stir. You see, I've already kind of taken the liberty of preheating this sure. uh, this milk here. Never walk away from milk that's boiling because you will end up with a with a fiery mess. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah. there's a little sugar in this bowl here, mm -hmm. cornstarch, whole eggs, egg yolks. And this is going to help thicken the custard. Yes. Okay. What I like to do is kind of, this does two things. I like to, we're gonna combine these ingredients. Right. And then the other thing that I like to do, and we kind of make a general rule of thumb here's, inside the bakery. Here's your big secret right here, yep. ladies and germs. As the dairy's coming up, we condition this. Right. Okay, it does two things. It tempers the eggs. So you're not gonna see curdling. Bingo, right? And this essentially has a lid now, so it boils yeah. faster for efficiency purposes. Okay. And then oh. <laughs> once you start to create what we call your liaison, okay, mm -hmm. which is tempering this hot liquid into these eggs a little bit at a time as to not scramble the which, eggs. Uh, liaison, by the way, French for? Uh, I, I don't know. I was just testing. That's a great I, question. I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, can I just cook? <laughs> no, it's all good. We so here we go back into so the now, dairy. So now, so look at it as we take this shot from Tim. It's everything is now closer in temperature, so you're not going to have uh, that. You know, you're not going to mess it up because it's when you're making. It's very easy to screw something up. And at this stage of the game, it's very easy to scorch this custard. Right. So if you've pre-tempered your eggs a little bit, everything is kind of warm. You're not adding, yeah, yeah, you're not adding cold eggs into this hot custard, cooling the custard down, and then you have to sit here and stir it for even longer. Right. Giving it more potential to scorch. So, because you want to, especially on Valentine's Day, you want to spend more time romancing. Bingo. Than you know, and this is <laughs> so very, very simple. You see, as I'm just, this is starting to thicken. Mm -hmm. uh, the cornstarch is starting to activate. The egg yolks are starting to do their their work here. Uh -huh. You can see how viscous that's becoming. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So once it comes to kind of this little light bubble here. Yeah. You want to give it another 30 seconds or so. It has definitely gotten thicker. Very quickly, right? It's yeah. because we tempered those there eggs. There you in, go. Right? See, now you know. So, here we are. We have our pre-baked tart shell here. And and listen, if you don't want to spend a lot of time talking, you, you could buy that. You can easily made, buy right? that. But easily. This stuff is going to go in. Custard goes in. All right, now I know creme brulees tend to have, you get get the little torch out, you, you go, you, you burn the top, you caramelize the, the sugar on top. Are we doing that here or We not? are. We're going to let this cool. Uh-huh. Okay. Put that towards the back. Uh-huh. Then we have a completed version. Right. That I prepared earlier. Let me see this. It, you know, your, your dishes, you, and I've seen you get wild sure. uh, with some, some of your stuff. Uh, you were just at Mohegan Sun's Wine and Food Fest and yep. did, did a, a, a yuzu cheesecake that was to kill her. Oh, thank but you. But this is, so then, and this is how we, this is a simple thing. Very, sometimes simple is the best. Simple, absolutely. You know? Totally agree. And so here, a little light torching. You can do multiple layers of this, right? Fire in the hole. Never leave home without right. it, right? Exactly. And we're gonna just very, very carefully, see so I'm moving it around quickly? Right. Just caramelize yes, the top of that tart. Just a little color and you're okay. good. Right? I love and it. you can continue, you can let that cool, do another layer of sugar if you want like a nice thick crunchy, which I like. I right. like the, the bitter crunchy texture and flavor of uh, the sugar against the smooth velvety cool. If, if you want right? any ones or don't want to do it, you can head over to any of those sifts and get the finished product. And you're you're also gearing up obviously for Valentine's Day, big business. We are. Yeah. You go to the website, you can check out our, our menu for Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. uh, everything is designed for two and for portions. Sure. You know? <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, the Bon Bon line, of course, are doing the, the Valentine's Day chocolate special uh -huh. for the holidays. So right. we love Valentine's Day. But the one thing you paper. can't do is uh, make reservations at Mix at <laughs> Sift upstairs. Why? Uh, I'm working on that as well right now. So, so, so we are uh, in the middle of a remodel up mm -hmm. there. So Mix has great potential, but it's a seasonal venue, yeah. as, as you well know. Yes, we frequent do. there in the mm -hmm. summer. And, yeah. and <clears throat> we want to make that more sustainable create many, many more jobs Listen, and have it year round. So that's not, what we're working on currently. It's not just desserts there. They have such great stuff. If you haven't checked out Sift yet, what are you waiting for? This is the guy uh, in charge of everybody there. And by the way, as we say goodbye, thank you, Adam. Yes, of you course. Know, this guy is in charge of so many people and he supports just about every employee that you have there. And I've always admired that about you. Thank you. Yeah. You no, know, it's absolutely true. He's not holding anybody back from even opening bakeries of your own. Not Which at is all. nice because you only have one boss and that's Ebby over there. Uh, Yes. The, yep. the author we talked to. That's the real boss of the operation. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, that's right. All right. That's a look at, uh, at a great creme brulee. I'm going to go chow down. 